Hello and welcome to another video with me, Mioni, for Final Fantasy XIV. It's that time, finally, 5.1 is out and there's some really cool stuff in this patch that I've been recording all day for you today to come out over the next few days. But first of all, I'd like to kick it off with my own personal favourite touch to user interface, the group pose function and 5.1's changes. So this got updated as you no doubt knew about if you saw a developer blog recently on this. However, there are some great new features that really are quite special when you use them. Specifically, this has to be one of the coolest additions for my own use, and that's the Character Display Settings tab, which is the fifth tab down here. So they've added this to the G-Pose menu when you enter G-Pose mode, which you bring up with middle mouse button, and essentially this new list of settings allows you to filter what you actually see on screen before you. A perfect example then would be that today is patch day and in most of the areas where there's actual new content there are tons of people crowded together. Let's say for example we wanted to take a picture in that area with a specific NPC or a particular scene or vista held within. Your immediate problem there is that at peak times, you will always have someone photobombing your shots. But with this new settings menu, we can actually erase them from existence, or at the very least, the visible one. You can make your own custom toggles by ticking boxes on this list or from the drop down menu at the top and select from a series of presets, such as hide everything, which hides everything. All NPCs, mounts, minions, player characters, your own character, everything but scenery. And then you have the settings for just show me or only me and my minions and my mounts and pets, etc. There's lots of variety here and you can pretty much get exactly what you want out of your picture without worrying about external issues. It's a wonderfully helpful idea that has single-handedly revolutionized photography in this game. And for me personally, Personally, when I make my upcoming minion videos for 5.1, I no longer have to worry about filming me only in the background somewhere looking derp as I slow pan around a minion's new model, which makes me all kinds of excited. You can also toggle out monsters as well, so if there's a perfect shot, a perfect vista, and there's this monster patrolling, you can just toggle that monster off, which, you know, I could have used this so many times in the past, it's ridiculous. Other things they've actually added in 5.1 to the G-Pose feature of the new ability to do G-Pose whilst you're on a mount. And this is obviously another great addition. It's not something I will always make use of, but it's nice to know that even whilst I'm on a mount, I can use G-Pose and we can mess around with Raffalos walking towards the camera. We can mess around with the camera settings, which makes for some previously impossible photography in the game to actually be possible. Another couple of features we should mention before we wrap up this video is that now you can actually select a manual brightness setting. This is under the first tab up here on the left under the general settings. You tick this box, enable manual brightness adjustment, and then basically you scroll the slider left to right to increase the general brightness of that area. In addition to this, there's actually a brand new character lighting setting individually for lighting up just your character. This is in the third tab tab down the actual lighting settings tab right at the bottom you'll see this character lighting slider if you put this all the way to the right then obviously your character will be illuminated that full brightness from all angles and this is especially useful if you want to take pictures but you don't want to mess around with specular lighting and you know positional lighting all around the area to try and light your character up and obviously when you try to do that previously it will actually light parts of the environment up which is kind of annoying so with these better lighting settings and obviously with the new G-Pose features for filtering people out and minions out and stuff, this is going to make the feature a whole lot more useful and I cannot wait to see some of the things that we see in screenshot competitions in the future. Either way, thank you kindly for watching this video. There's tons of 5.1 content coming to the channel this week and the next. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.